Peter Ray, son. It was almost a chance. I went home to my mother the day we heard the news. When I found her, she couldn't move or breathe. She was so down, broken. I remember the phone was pulled out of the wall and the radio smashed. It looked like she'd been beaten and left there on the floor. It broke my heart to see her there gasping and not knowing what happened. Then I just realised she'd done it herself, lost herself. I thought he was dead, but worse. As far as I'm concerned, she never got up off the floor. My mother's not the same woman, and you should know that. We're all here affected. I heard one of the woman's fathers talking on the news and I became so confused, ashamed, like I should say something. I get angry, though, because there's nothing to say. This isn't my problem, but I must suffer it. My mother and I, we have to look at this shattered mess all around us. The thing is, I don't know about the man on the TV, or in the newspapers, or on the radio. The man I knew was quiet, and sometimes funny. Hard-working, busy, with a family. He was a fixer, always building gadgets or parts, never still. And he didn't take care of the money. That was for my mother. All that time has to be accounted for, all that energy, and I just can't understand how he could have it in him, really. I'd bring girlfriends home to meet him and Ma, and he'd tell me things about women, teach me how to treat them. And he gave good advice. There wasn't anything in there about hurting them, so... I know a special man. A good father who never laid a hand on me or my mother. We're all waiting to hear what'll happen to him. But we know things won't be the same. I won't be the same. Because all I can think about is whether or not I've got the instinct. Sounds unreasonable, sure. But nothing seems reasonable. Even me.